In this video, let us understand the project Metro Train Smart Card Recharge System. So here you can see that uh, this is basically for a metro train. So we all know like in metro you would like to travel, you need to buy a ticket. So instead of ticket, you can always buy the recharge card and you can recharge the card. So this I will show you like how to make this project in uh, VB.NET. So here is an MDA form. So these are the master entries and these are the employee details. Here is a train related activities and here is a smart card related activities. Therefore, we need to more concentrate on the smart card. So in case of smart card, what are the things is required? So you need to issue the card actually. So there is a smart card. This we need to issue to the customer like a credit card or a debit card. So we need to register the customer. So first thing is register. Who is this customer? So therefore you can have a register form. So via register form you can register the customer. After registration you can issue the card. Then you have to reach out the card. So after recharge, the customer can swap the card. So swap, we require a device actually. Here we'll only show you the software part of it, like how, do, how the swap will take place. I will go to database and I will check the balance amount. So swap card and you can check the balance. Any given time, you can check the balance. So these are the important things smart card is concerned. Apart from this, in order to manage the trains, so we need to enter the train timetable. So train details, stations, then timetable, that is a TT. That is also important. So here is a sample uh, routes actually, uh, different routes. So here you can see that uh, totally there are three, one is green, red and blue. There is also yellow, maybe it will come up later. Right, so here, uh, when you start this point, every station, so what time train reach and at the, ultimately at the last point, what time it reaches. So there is a timetable, we need to prepare the timetable first. So based on the timetable, people can swap the card and also when you're creating the timetable, you need to specify the prices from this station to next station, what is the prices. So generally when you check out the metro station, you can see this is the entrance where you need to use the card and you have to show the card or you need to swap the card. So you need to touch the card, okay? That depends on the card, what type of card it is. So when you touch it, then automatically it will connect to the connected system. There you will check the balance amount and then it automatically deduct the money from this particular card. So in this picture much more clear. So you can walk through and when you're coming out, you can swap the card. When you're going out in, you can show the card and go inside. Then it will register the details. When you come out, when it automatically deduct the money from your card. So here the system works on network, maybe a local area network. So therefore all the stations will be interconnected. So your program runs on a local area network. That is the main concept. And we need to build a project in VB.NET and I'll show the demonstration whatever is already done here. After seeing that probably you can able to understand the whole concept and you can able to build the project. So here I'm Visual Studio. So this is 2019. So you can see that Visual Studio, it's a community edition. So if you don't have Visual Studio, you can always download from the Microsoft website and then you can install. So therefore it's free, you don't need to worry. Right, so how to download and install? So you just go there and you can download Visual Studio 2019. So you can see that there is a Visual Studio Microsoft.com website. If you click on this, so it'll show you the list actually. It's a community edition, professional enterprise. You can download the community edition so because it's a free and for a student it is suitable. So on clicking download, so you'll have options and we have a separate video for this how to install. Please watch that video. And if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, so please subscribe to our channel. That is iBlix Tutorials. So go to YouTube and um, iBlix Tutorials. You can type iBlix Tutorials here. Okay, even iBlix will do the job. So you have iBlix tutorials. So subscribe and you go to videos. So you can see that all the videos which are already uploaded. 
So particularly we are concentrating more on projects on uh, VB.NET projects, c -sharp projects, PHP, Python and uh, even JSP projects and also a lot of uh, activity related to Python. So please check it out and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's come back to this Visual Studio. Here we are in Visual Studio. Now I open the project and you can see the forms here. So let's check it out like now. We are in 10, uh, 15, 20 pages or 20 forms we are having. So you, when you're creating that, you need to plan and then you have to give the proper name for each uh, form actually. Okay, now let us run this. So this is a welcome screen. Now uh, in a welcome screen, this is a simple design. You can redesign it like you can add a picture over there. So it's all possible like you know what are the options you want. You can add up in a picture. We can show them. So welcome screen basically to tell that what project it is. Right. Next to that is a login screen. You can you can log in here. So user ID and password. This will take to the database and it will cross verify. And if everything is okay, then it will take to the next page. So here is a login page and if you go to code section, so you can see the code here. This is how you're going to check what are the entries done in text box 1, whatever the entry you've done in text box 2. They'll go and compare with the users tab. Right. So now we'll move on. So we'll go to the master entries. Here is the qualifications and one more is the designations. So if you already watched some videos, you already explained this uh, qualification. These are the basic entries. Then we'll move to the employee details. Here you can enter the new employee, click new, enter all the details and then save. They'll create the employees who are all working in the this metro company or metro station. Here is important thing, so, uh, trains, so station names. What are the station names? So here I take Majestic, Marathali, then I'll take a Vijayanagar. This is another station. So this is Vijayanagar station. Right, so save this. So we created a one more station. So you need to create all the station along the route. So next step is uh, train detail. Here you have to give the individual uh, train details. So what are the names called by each name will be called. So that names you have to give it here. Next one train timings. So you can give the schedule number. So then uh, details. So morning. So this is the train name and this is the from station and this is the to station. So what time it leaves and what time it will going to reach here. So we can also modify the data. So next is the ticket price. So here is the from place. So you take Majestic uh, to Vijayanagar. So it's on 30 rupees. Save. So this is to record the prices, ticket price. Here is the smart card details. So new application form. When a customer comes, you click new, enter all the details and then you have to save and you have to collect the basic fee here. So already have some uh, customers here. I'll just manage with the 1025. Next one is a smart card issue. So 1025, we already issued the 1025 customer. Uh, this one. That customer uh, ID is 1025. So sometime we'll get worker date type error. This is because so here is I date. Okay. So whenever you have I date, uh, you need to format it actually. So sometime without format, it won't take the values because we are we want to send the data in a DD MMM YY format. But here along with the date, so this time also is moving. So that we need to avoid. So therefore you need to change this to DD slash MMM YYY. Now uh, the data, uh, the date value will go as a DDMM YY. So here is one more advantage in VB.NET is uh, when you're running also we can debug and we take the cursor to the top. Now we can run from this particular point. So okay. now if I say run, so the changes will accepted and the changes is done. Right now card recharge. So first we let me check it out. The what is the balance available? So you go there 1025. So check the balance. You have zero balance here. Right. So then I'll go to recharge this. Fine. What is the smart card number? 1025. The name will come automatically. So what is the recharge amount? We want to recharge 500, uh, 500 rupees. Uh, this paid by cash. Cash received. 
fine so then save this so again you have the same problem uh, here is the format so what i'll do is i'll just copy this right so i'll take the cursor up then uh, here is a vdate.value let me replace this this is vdate okay uh, then continue now it is done so now let's check whether we have a balance or not card balance 1025 check 500 rupees is the balance so we can add one more close balance number sorry close button over there fine so here is a thing like when you're traveling <coughs> this is the dummy because in real time you have to swap the card on the uh here in the counter but whereas in this software we don't we are not integrated now so therefore we need to show them like how it works right so therefore vijayanaga price is 30 card number so 1025 save so record saved now if you go and check the card balance 1025 so you can see that 470 30 rupees deducted from your card so it means the code which is written is working fine everything is harder now we have a reports here you can go to employee list you can see the employee list then smart card applications what are the applications we received this is a recharge report so how much recharge done during this period and then uh, ticket like overall take the tickets and uh, what is the amount corresponding amount okay so there are four reports so these are the basic entries employee and these are the processing actually here are some basic entries and then here is the process every day activity particularly soft card card balance and the card recharge and then we have a reports here so hope you understand the concept in case you wish to buy this project please contact us or uh, you can also try in vb.net or in c shop or in java or even you can make it as a android applications so what do you feel like so please write to us let me know what's your so please write it in the comment box uh, let me know what you are thinking. Thank you again.